A question that comes up all the time, particularly from young people, finding your passion, finding your calling, but you know, how do you do it? I myself, I struggle with this for decades. But here's a story that illustrates this from a friend's life, actually the son of a friend of mine. Here's his, his short story. He joined the Marine Corps as an enlisted man, served two tours in Iraq. He had thought that he wanted to make the Marine Corps a career, but when he got back, he had seen enough casualties, enough of war, he said, I don't want to do this anymore. In fact, he wanted to somehow alleviate suffering. Now, he came from a family that valued education really highly, so he went back to school. He got a master's in hospital administration, and he became a hospital administrator. And he was working for six, seven years and doing really good, going up, up, up. But he just wasn't happy. He wasn't, he hadn't found what it was. And one day, he just, he had an epiphany, and he said, I don't want to be just pushing papers around here in a hospital. I want to be actually in the room with the person that's suffering. I want to put my hands on them. I want to take their fear away. I want to help them. So he went back to school again to be a nurse. And he became a nurse, and that's what he's doing now. And he has found, found himself in what he dreamt of. Now, the interesting thing here is that the prior attempts that he made at finding himself were kind of on the track, but they were sort of just different. Joining the Marine Corps showed that he was interested, he cared about service. He didn't join something that was make, about making money, but that wasn't the service that he wanted to do. The second one, being a hospital administrator, was again, helping people in need and people with the, that were sick, but it wasn't what he really wanted because it was at one remove from being close to it. Now, if we had met him on the day he enlisted in the Marine Corps and said, hey, Fred, why don't you become a nurse? He would have said, get out of here, a nurse. But by the time he had kind of lived through those experiences, that became his calling and he saw it. So sometimes we have to be patient and we go through incarnations. We try, we go down a dead end, we go down something that's a parallel to what we want, but little by little, we're getting in on our calling.